What's up, everybody? Me and the wife are gonna go to some Asian stores and do like a little vlog thing. Let's go ahead and go. Come join us for the ride. All right, everybody. So me and the wife, we're going to go to some Asian stores, pick up some stuff, maybe possibly for a future video. Try this stuff out. If y'all guys don't know, my wife is mixed. We try a lot of uh, different cultured food and stuff like that. And she's really opened my eyes to some things that I like and some things now I know for a fact I don't like. We have some Asian stores around us where we live at and everything. We've been to a couple, we've gotten some things. We still got items from a long time ago that we said we we're gonna make a video about. But back then we didn't have like the cameras and the equipment and stuff we have now. So hopefully in the future or near future, we can do more vlogs like this, test some more, I guess, food or, you know, different culture things out. So if you guys would like to see something like that, please let me know. I am new to this whole vlogging style thing with the audio and everything and getting the lighting right for the camera and stuff as far as like having stuff on audio settings. Please excuse me um, if the video slash audio is bad. Again, working on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the first spot. Also, wife will not be in the video. She do not want to be in the video. So, yeah. Okay, so we're at our first spot. We're gonna go inside. We gotta wear a face mask. I don't know if we can film inside the stores. So we're gonna try to, I guess, figure it out as we go. We'll see what we can pick up maybe some snacks. My wife's been here before. I haven't been inside before. I'll see you guys when we make it back into the car because again, I'm not sure if people have a problem with us filming inside their store. Let's go inside and see what we can get. We just got done. Spent a pretty penny in there, but uh, it was still pretty good. They had some good options. It's a smaller store than the big one we're gonna go to, which is probably the last one we hit. But we got some stuff in the back seat on either side and everything. Got some boba tea to try out. I've tried uh, one version of it. This other one you probably could see on it. It's, it's gonna be interesting hopefully i do like it because we got a case of half and half uh flavors so we'll just see um but on to the next store and uh we'll catch you guys in a little bit okay quick side note wife just let me know the next store is going to be a filipino store i'll see you guys in a little bit no, no. you want to say hi no she said no all right we'll catch you guys there all right so it's kind of loud we're gonna go in this filipino store We've been in it a couple times. We've gotten a couple items from it and everything. We're gonna see if we can find anything new and then obviously have stuff that we normally like to enjoy and everything. Let's go inside and see uh, what items we can pick up. Again, not sure if we can film inside. Any of the places might not have actual videos of inside the places, but when we get to the car, we'll talk about it. And then when we sit down to sit there and uh, try things out and eat things and everything, we'll talk about the items and stuff then so you can see the overall haul. I'm not sure if I, my table is gonna be big enough to show everything, but uh, we'll just have to see. That being said, let's head inside. Yo, so we just got done from the Philippine store, Nora's Market. Shout out to the people inside. The lady that checked us out at the cash register, she actually wanted a YouTube link to be able to see, you know, where our thoughts were, or at least my thoughts were on the food that we just, you know, purchased in there. And I guess the whole taste testing thing, because she was asking if I ever tried it. And I said, no, because um, my wife, she eats Filipino food, Asian food, Japanese food, Korean food, all that stuff all the time, Hawaiian food, everything. So some of the stuff that we're going to end up trying is legitimately going to be my first time trying. So they wanted to see, I guess, the reactions and stuff. So special shout out to them. Thank you guys for being so nice when we went in there. Let's head on to the the next stop, which is the final stop, I think. We'll see you guys there. This one is like biggest store in our area as far as uh, Asian food and stuff goes, like an actual Asian market. So kind of excited to see what we see in there. We'll catch you guys momentarily. Let's go ahead and go. All right, so we're outside uh, Asian market. This is usually where me and my wife goes, mostly my wife goes to get some Asian food. We've tried a couple things in here. We actually came up with the idea to try these foods and do this stuff from coming here. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Part of the passing is kind of loud because this is the main drag. Let's go inside and see what we can actually do. Then we'll head uh, home and, you know, try some food. So with that being said, let's go. All right, everybody, so we just got finished. It took us a little bit to find certain things and to, to find, I guess, new things and remember what we have gotten before because it's been months. I want to say since like last year, babe, mm -hmm. since we actually been in this store. Um, we've been to the other ones before, obviously between the times and stuff like that. But this one, 30 minutes away from my house, like 20, 30 minutes away. We had to like justify, I guess, the reason to come this far down. We were able to get some things, kind of tired, 
It's a little bit in our feet and everything. It's kind of tired because we're driving around, walking around and stuff up and down the store. Or it's actually a pretty big store if you couldn't tell from the outside. But again, I didn't feel comfortable filming in any of the places just because I wasn't sure how people and customers and everybody would react to us pretty much, I guess, doing that sort of thing. But we're going to head back to the, the house. We got a lot of groceries in the back seat and everything. So we're going to have to unpack, sit down and uh, figure it out. Appreciate everybody sticking around and uh, we'll see you guys uh, momentarily. Hi, everybody. We're back. It's been about a week. We're back. We're going to be going on forward testing some, I guess you could say, uh, snacks now. Right now, the first one we're starting from his taste will probably be the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. um, so we got some dry squid. Uh, for those who don't know, yes, I go by Squid Head Joe, the Minecraft reference since I started the channel. I've actually never had squid or octopus or anything like that. I'm not a big fan of sushi, or like raw fish and stuff. I've had it a couple times, but usually my stomach doesn't agree and I get like really sick and stuff like that. We agreed to try it out for this for this video, so mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. She likes sushi, I, I don't like uh, sushi. Most everything, almost. Yes. But, um, Oops. Oh. You opened it the wrong way. It looks different from what I'm used to. It's I don't know. sheets. Oh, the smell though. Oh my gosh, the smell though. <laughs> it's strong. Nobody, nobody warned me. Strong fish smell. Oh yes. Honestly, it kind of smells like, I've had it before, so we can't really like do a first time video on it, but I've had it before where it's like the, the shrimp chips. Oh, the shrimp chips. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. I'll do shrimp, I'll do, um, like stuff like that, like salmon. You know, like I like fish, but I like I like the cooking and stuff. But I've never had octopus. I'm not sure if this is actually like squid or anything this like is, that. This is it's dry squid. It's rolled and seasoned squid. It's supposed to be mildly spicy too. I don't like spicy food. I think I mentioned mildly. that last part on the first part. I don't know. It's what happens when you Small do stuff. Piece. So uh Here we go. Here. I can't stand this right um, before, we, before we eat it, I got some boba tea. This is brown sugar. We've tried before the um, honeydew and I like it. So I got a half case of honeydew and then this is going to be my first time to try this. They had a banana flavor, but um, not, a, not a fan of really that much banana things. But uh, mm. here, we, here we go. Oh. Mm, it's sweet. It actually is kind of sweet. Well, actually, it tastes just like the ones I grew up with. It's really good. I can taste where they say like spicy or whatever, but it's kind of like airy, that spice. I don't know if that makes sense. When you chew on it, like wherever, it kind of, it kind of releases that like air flavor in your mouth, but it's not really spicy as they say or whatever. Especially somebody who doesn't like hot things, like spice hot things, I don't like it. I would say I probably would eat that. I probably could do without the spice because like I said, it's not, it's not, I want to call mild spice. That's not mild spice to me anyway. It's like teriyaki Because mild spice is then, because like I don't understand why people want their mouth on fire. Like I, that's not tasty <laughs> to me at all. So somebody who doesn't like even mild spicy things, I wouldn't say that's spicy. Mm -mm. I, I wouldn't say it's spicy. It's peppery. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good way of putting it. I'm not sure. I feel like after you would eat this whole thing, I feel like you would have to brush your teeth. Oh yeah. I, I definitely would say that. <laughs> definitely have to brush your teeth. It's not, um, the aftertaste is not too, too bad, but I could tell like you're, you're gonna smell like your mouth is gonna, not, gonna, not gonna be pleasant. Would I eat, I, I probably would eat that whole thing if it didn't have the mild, like spicy taste. Cause it, it's kind of like beef jerky. It's kind of like jerky to me. I'm, I'm a fan of it. That, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, let's say, I think we were doing like a one out of 10 before. I'll give that about a six because of the, the pepper spice thing. But if it didn't, I could see it easily being like a seven or eight. If I could find one that was just mild, I think that was the only like, yeah, that's version so, that was yeah. there at the store that we got it from and stuff like that. We probably should have showed off what exactly we got from each store now that I think back about it. But again, this is kind of like a first time doing this kind of stuff. Okay, what we got? Wow. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. 
<laughs> Ruining the video. Okay. This is ramen. Uh, you basically eat these ones like chips. Okay. I, I totally forgot we have the, the Sony cameras or wherever, if you guys don't know. This is your host with the most grave or gravification. Squid uses the Alpha ZV-E10. It's a large APS-C sensor mirrorless ILC camera built for vlogging featuring high quality imagery. He also uses the Sony ZV-1, a camera for content creators and vloggers again, packed with advanced image technology and easy to use functionality. Uh, zoom in on something like that. Y'all can see it without us having to hide our eyes and stuff. So Y'all should be able to see. And, and this is one of the reasons why I decided to get these cameras. Ooh. Oh, that's the flavor pack. What, what flavor? It's a bulgogi. Bulgogi. Korean, like stir fry. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. This is the flavor pack. It looks like regular ramen, but it tastes bad. Contrary to popular belief, I know a lot of people eat their ramen like this, they actually do that. They they open up the flavor packet and then they put it in a bag and they crush it up and they do all that stuff. I never did that. I know in high school a lot of people did it with the top ramen and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Um, I was always just a fan of cooking noodles, putting some hot water in there and eating them, or just eating the, the ramen noodles the regular way. I got the longest piece. You know this reminds me of, especially the seasoning pack. I don't want to say like the bacon fries, if y'all know what I mean. It's like the chip bags or whatever, kind of like onions and stuff like that, but it's like the fries, like the bacon fries, like how you have the hot fries. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like that. I know it doesn't taste like bacon. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Nah, I'm making a mess. Definitely gonna have to vacuum. I like it though. Mm -hmm. I give this an eight out of 10. I wouldn't eat this again. I kind of want to try it the regular way, like with the noodles Not cooked wrong. and all that stuff. Oh, but that, I never cooked it, you know? I don't think you cook it, cause in the back. Oh, I can't really see it. It just says to do what I just did. Since we have a, a lot of a mess, we'll be right back. So we're back. Sorry about that in little interruption or where, where we, we had it. We had to clean up. I think I ended up making more of a mess than she did. What's next? What we got? What we got on the plate? What we do? We have... So here's the thing about these, right? We've seen them, you've probably seen them on TVs and stuff like that, like when people do this kind of stuff. They're at certain Asian stores, especially um, over there, like in Korea, uh, China, Japan, and stuff like that. Usually you'll see the flavored Kit Kats and stuff. Usually over here in the US, we just have the regular mainstream, I guess you could say, chocolate candies uh, from the known places like Kit Kat, Twix, you know, um, stuff like that. Uh, but when we were in one of the Asian stores, I think it was the first one, right? If I remember correctly, um, we saw yeah. different versions of uh, Kit Kat. And there was another one, but that one was like dark chocolate or like special chocolate, something like that. And um, I don't do well <laughs> with that kind of chocolate or whatever. Again, kind of get sick. It's not a good day for anybody. We saw at least three other flavors. I don't want to say like a bland flavor, like a regular flavor but it didn't seem that interesting. But we got like uh, three of the other flavors that were there. Uh, one is this And then we have, what is this one? Matcha. Uh, this is matcha. And apparently these are $8 a pop, by the way. The one that we're about to try is, this is a green tea one. You know, and then apparently a lot of people on the back are like, Yo, this flavor is bomb, it's popping. I don't know. When I picked it up, my wife was like, you know, she, she was she was not a fan. Yeah. But I'm like, mm -hmm. why not do it? You know, green tea and matcha, I'm not a fan. Just for everybody to know, mm -hmm. this one has uh this is these are mini. There's twelve in this one. Twelve in this one. But this one um apparently has a plus one. That's what this one over here. How come these ones got 13 and that one got 12? Uh, right, the right. green ones. 
Now this, I'm not sure how this one. Gonna open like that. Oh, what it do? Oh, sometimes it be stuck. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know. Oh wow, it's so cute. This is the, the way the packaging looks. It makes me want to eat it, like it looks good. <laughs> it's actually a nice packaging, yeah. to be honest. And then they say uh, on the back, have a break, have a Kit Kat. And it's like this weird little tablet drawing thing. Mm -hmm. That's the way it looks. Back. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Um, we should probably not open uh, more than one because <laughs> I don't think we're either one of us is gonna actually really like it to be honest. Again, if this is the, your type of thing, but. I just wanted to do it for the video. Like, even if we don't end up eating it, I don't know who we're gonna give it to, because like I mentioned in the Living Room Studio Tour video. So I don't know, this bag just might sit there for forever. I'll find knows. someone. God. You know, a lot of people like free stuff too, so. Oh God. Why would you smell it? Honestly though, it don't smell that bad. Oh. Mm -mm. Smell, smell deeper. It, 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 it smells smell like that? strong tea, green tea. Well, see, I don't really have too much of a problem with like actually like green tea, but I usually like it. I like mixed, mixed tea. tea. Yeah, I've never had like good quality matcha. Crack it. Oh, I was trying to keep it's it. making a mess here. Look, look. Okay, look. Oh well. Okay, this is what it looks like, I guess. I never start smelling it. I never smell my food. I should have never started it. Well, I was, I was interested. Are we putting the whole thing? Whole thing. You ready? Three, two, one. I could taste the green tea so strong. Take it back. I actually might eat that whole bag. What? Oh. I cannot, I have strong Wait. taste buds. Wait, I take it back. The I think I, I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's like right there. And like, I don't know if it's cause you know, if you eat Kit Kats, you, you know, it's like, it's almost like a, the what? waffle, the, the, the the airy waffle, and it kind of like broke apart. The coating's not too much, but yeah, I'm not, no. I couldn't, I can't handle it. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the squid. If you like green tea, that's the one for you. Yeah, that, that's definitely the one for you. It's, it's not too, too, too bad. Sick. Straight up green tea. Like I could probably <laughs> eat it if I ate like one every now and then, but straight like down the bag, like straight off rip, just open it and down the whole thing, like just snacking on it like all the time now. But every once in a while, like if I had like a bowl and it had candy in it and it had one of those in it, I could get by eating one. It was of those. like a half and half for me. If it was probably mixed with like white chocolate, I think yeah. I would like it. It was mixed with white, like a little bit more white chocolate. I would. Some type of milk. I like milk with tea. On a scale of one to ten, what do you give that? Mm, four. I was thinking the same thing about a four <laughs> or five, honestly. Because at first I was like, oh, this is good, you know, it tastes good, but then like, it's the like an after taste. Yeah. It's like when yeah, it fully exactly dissolves, takes. it's like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I would I would give it like a four ten. Like I said, if I had like a bag, like a bowl full with like you know like when you get the Kit Kats, the little Reese's and all that stuff, like the one cup thing and everything, and you get that all in a bowl with one of these were in there, I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. Eat it and then forget it. Like I want to go out and buy another eight dot eight dollar bag. Like I wouldn't go out my way and do that. No. And that's kind of what we're searching for. Something that I would be like, yo. Let's get that if I see it on the shelf, kind of thing. So next up is this one. Matcha. <laughs> Apparently, I just opened the bag by picking it up. Oh wow! <laughs> so the bags are not a. Uh, like there. 
Yeah, the bags, the bags are definitely like paper. Um, so the other flavor there is this one. And then the darker one on the bottom was that special one I was talking about. So, and then it was this one. Cause like I wouldn't have filmed while we were in the stores, but again, I wasn't sure if the people would have had a problem or not. People still look at you weird when you get stuff out of it. So I'm glad we didn't open two of the, the other way, and I'm actually kind of glad. So we're gonna stick to that number. This one again is matcha, you said? Yeah. So um, I'm not sure what to expect from this one. I don't remember the last time I had matcha, but I'm struggling with it. I was trying to be nice, but you know, it works. Raise it. Oh, wait, why mine's bigger? <laughs> we got away with it. Okay, ready? So messed up. <laughs> and you picked this. No apple, apple flavor. Mm -mm. It's not as strong. Yeah. This one tastes better. Yeah, I mean it tastes better because it's definitely not as strong as this one. But I'm looking, I'm looking for something that's gonna make me go out and buy it back. I feel like the especially green, if it's gonna be eight, eight dollars. The green tea prepared me for the matcha. It is basically the same if, thing. If I had to pick between these and these, I would, I would, I would, I would pick that. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying that because you want to get to the strawberry to actually possibly no, like, yeah, taste I good. Think. Yeah, we got the strawberry one. But like I said, if I had to pick, it would definitely be the matcha flavor. It's not as nounced as the other one. Oh, give me one. You have one. You still don't. You still don't know. What? No. Just because it says strawberry, we still don't know. I think so. Yeah, because people don't like that. strawberry milk and that kind of like Oh my milk. gosh. It smells so good. The color. She's trying to get y'all to smell it. Like, y'all can smell it through the camera. No. Showing the color. The oh, yeah. Kind of oh, wow. Oh, it didn't, it didn't break apart like the other one. Of course. Sounds good. <laughs> see, see, she already prepped. I'm, I'm still trying to do the structure of the video, and she's like, just. Right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so tart. Why you had to say that? <laughs> because as soon as you said it, that's when my tartness hit. Okay. Ooh, so like that's a. Um, that's a. Uh, surprising. Because <laughs> to me, it reminds me of like a, a jelly donut, but you didn't know it was a jelly donut somehow. So you ate it, and then out of nowhere, like a feeling hit you. That's, that's kind of what it reminded me of because I was tasting strawberry and I was fine, but then it's like, to, at least for mine, like in the middle, towards the middle of the wafer is when my tartness hit. So like after my third crunch, when she was like, oh, that's when mom was like, and it was kind of surprising, shocking. Definitely, definitely good. It's too much the coating was good, but it feels like there's actually extra like- Strawberries in the wafers? Oh. I don't know if it's gonna show good on camera, but like <laughs> between the lines is actually like darker. So, so I think that's where the part is. I'm kind of messed up. Halloween is coming. <laughs> hey, don't pay. Hey. What What do you give? What do you give? I, I don't want to add that. Six. Six? Yeah. Six? I it, that six. tart yeah, that's hard. really got me. Yeah. If it was in my bowl, I definitely would like it over those two, but it's, I'm not going to go out my way to, to eat that. Okay, so we haven't done this, but these bags were, again, each one was $7.99. Mm -hmm. If you had to purchase, again, another $8 bag, which one do you get? Strawberry. <laughs> You're going to say matcha, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Only because... <laughs> that tart is too much. And with it's this so one, it, this one's kind of like in the middle, like it's bland. Like yeah. you still get the flavor, but it's not like this one where it was kind of the average. It's like this one is the like How strong it just hit. Yeah. Kind of disappointing on this one because we've been sitting on the table the whole time and I was like, yo. Staring at it. Yeah. 
Oh, I feel his disappointment. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, apparently my Sony Z EV10 decided to go ahead and overheat and it shut down. And that's why we're starting the video off again. Me and my wife only had three items to go ahead and finish. But since it overheated, I decided to bring in my office fan and blow it on the camera as we, you know, tasted the food and stuff. But since I restarted the camera, for some reason, it didn't pick up the, our lavalier mics. It went ahead and defaulted back to the onboard microphone from the camera. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to voice over this stuff. So hopefully, you know, Grave can um, go ahead and edit this because I tried to do my best to salvage the audio from it, but I just really couldn't. The last like three of uh, the three things are where we have this, which is supposed to be sunflower crackers. I saw this in the second place um, that we got it from the, the Philippines store where we got that, had that lunch plate from. I've never seen it. I had never seen it before, but it's mango flavor. So it's kind of like, I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of like wafery, but it's supposed to be like a cream sandwich. Like she said, it's the sunflower crackers. I'm not a big fan of crackers, but they had, I think two or three flavors and one is mango. Yeah, anything mango we basically would go for. Yeah, because mango is my favorite fruit, mm -hmm. hands down. Same. Like, they don't really care for wild melon. Not a fan of, but like, unless it's like a drink or something, maybe. Basically, these uh, crackers that we're about to try was completely and utterly disgusting. Um, I would not recommend this. Me and my wife pretty much agreed. We did not like this at all. But these were utterly disgusting. I was even saying that I would give those to my worst enemies or wherever or somebody I didn't like. And if we had them over or something like that, essentially, when the camera turned off, we both agreed that we would just throw them away pretty much because there's they're worse than the regular like the saltiest saltine crackers that you can find um like very generic brand or whatever that you can find and eat um the mango flavor was really artificial they needed to be somewhat double stuffed because i personally didn't take any taste any mango flavoring at all my wife did those are completely and utterly disgusting i tried to finish it but she didn't like it i didn't like it avoid these at all cost if even if you like mango flavor just avoid them at all costs. Moving on, we had the kind of gummy mango flavor. Me and my wife actually liked the gummy mango flavor thing. Um, it was actually pretty good. It was really uh, gummy, like chewy, as far as like gummy stuff goes. I like gummy bears, I like gummy worms, so does my wife. And uh, these were actually very pleasant, but um, I would say that those gummy, uh, the mango gummies or wherever, I got two bags, I kind of wish I got more. I'm not really sure the price on it because there was no price sticker on the bag. Those were definitely good. I even referenced there's uh, a big, huge bag of gummy bears that you can find on Amazon that is a mango flavor. I recommend those two. These ones are really good. They're gluten free as well. So if that uh, matters to you or not. Moving on to the, the brown sugar boba tea, we talked about it. There is a banana flavor. There's another flavor, it's like in a purple can or wherever. There's a honeydew and we're tasting the brown sugar. Me and my wife has had the honeydew flavor and the purple flavor. I forget off the top of my head what it is. Pretty much it has tapioca pearls inside. The brown sugar, me and my wife agreed, is kind of like coffee without like, the. it's not really as sweet as you think it would be. It's more of uh, having coffee and just putting in milk. And then obviously, like I said, it has the tapioca pearls in it. Um, it's really hard to get the pearls out of a can because of the, the small hole that they give you on the top of the can when you open it. It's still really good. We rated the the candy and stuff like that and everything. I was really surprised about the, the squid. Um, again, me and my wife kind of gave that a high score. I think around like a nine. The brown sugar, she said it was like a 10, nine for her. If you do go to your local Asian shop and get the bubble tea and you see the cans like this, I highly recommend the brown sugar and the the honeydew, I have not tasted the, the banana or any other flavor. The squid was really surprising the most. The, the mango candy is probably another high one up there. I'll give that like a nine. Those mango wafer, the saltine cracker thing or wherever, I would give that like a two. Um, the other Kit Kats obviously were higher on the on the scale and pretty much came to the conclusion that the best thing that, that we tasted today was the ramen noodles, the squid 
and um, the boba tea was good and the mango candies were good. But at the end, I thanked my wife for doing the video with me and everything. And I said, if you guys want to kind of see this stuff in the future, then let me know. But there's always some kind of technical difficulties. It, it comes with the territory. And like I said, unfortunately, we had that because we can't really give our actual commentary uh, on hopefully you guys can get the overview or the gist of it. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully, like I said, me and my wife can do this stuff in the future. She said, thank you guys so much for um, supporting me, you know, watching the video and everything and supporting with her coming on and doing stuff. So maybe we can see if she does some cooking in the future. I can taste test some more stuff. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. If you also are interested I also have a living room studio tour set up of all the products and stuff that I use as well as my gaming slash uh, streaming room set up a video as well. And you can check that out. With that being said, God bless you and yours. Have a squid day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.